Hey guys and girls, welcome back to my third devlog for the game Drone Commander. Um, today I'm going to be talking a little bit about the hyperspace jump that you've probably just seen, as well as sort of issues I've been having with pathfinding and other things that I've been working on whilst coding up this game. So the idea for this game is I wanted to build a strategy RTS that had the elements of classics like Starcraft and Command and Conquer, but allowed me to tell the story that I wanted to tell. And obviously one of the sort of main challenges that I've had is being a single dev. It's much harder to produce anything remotely like the quality of your Starcrafts and Command and Conquers. But I've had some progress and as you can see this is just within four weeks of development. So I'm quite happy with what I'm seeing so far. However, as you'll probably see in a minute, the collision mechanics still suck quite bad. And one of the main reasons behind that is to do with the pathfinding. So you can see that the harvester's going away to the asteroids to mine ore, and uh, the worker there is building a turret, and the drones are kind of clustering together. What happens is, is when you give instructions to say, get out of the way, that can get troublesome when you're in grouped in bunches, or if you're trying to predict a vector to say, you know, uh, my worker to get from A to B, you know, if there's something in the way, make a path around it. That can cause issues because everything's currently moving in, in real time. So at the moment, I've built kind of like MVP filler uh, collision mechanics and pathfinding, which I plan to kind of improve more as I sort of build out the game. One of the things I kind of really want to just share with those, especially those who are into games just getting started, is you don't want to waste all of your momentum, you know, focusing on building out the pathfinding or even things such as like screen resolution, because it's such a hard and involved thing. You want to just grow it over time so that you're not, you know, uh, holding back the development of your game on something that you can just refine as things go go on. Um, again, you know, the pathfinding mechanics is a bit of the secret sauce in strategy games. Um, developers won't readily share like how they've managed to do things um, again it's just because it's getting many units to communicate with each other to be aware of their surroundings and to do it in a way that doesn't bog down CPU now at the start you saw kind of like a hyperspace jump in and I was quite happy with that um, I used sort of flashing techniques um, you know uh, uh, putting the hue up but I've still got more I want to do. I was thinking of maybe stretching the background, but that's quite hard since it's tiled. I might stretch the vehicles in the direction of travel. I'm quite interested to see what people think, um, if there's any suggestions. But overall, you know, this is a progress so far. There's still a lot more to be done. Um, you know, for those who've seen the last devlog, it might not seem like a huge amount of progress, but I think I'm going in the right direction and uh, any feedback would be great.